Today I'm going to be doing some long overdue maintenance on my 1995 Pathfinder. I've been the owner since 2003 and I, re I have not done a lot of maintenance to be honest. So I'm going to be doing the front differential, the rear differential, the transfer case, and also the gearbox or the, tra the manual transmission. After researching online I was surprised to find how easy these are to do. So I'm going to switch them out and have some clean fluid running in all my drivetrain. Whenever working underneath the vehicle, eye protection is really important so something doesn't hit you in your eyes. Glove protection is good. Also, I'm not a certified mechanic. This is just what works for me. Hopefully, you'll be able to gain benefit out of these videos. But if you feel uncomfortable, always ask for a certified mechanic or someone you trust to do the work for you. Anyway, enjoy. I'm gonna spray the fill and drain plugs with PV Blaster. There we go. And here is the drain. Let that sit. Also make sure your car is in gear, e-brake is set, and the wheels are chocked. I have a 10 inch, half inch extension and a 24 inch breaker bar. And always remove the fill plug before the drain plug, just in case you can't get the fill plug out, then you're not stuck with not being able to fill in oil. Putting a towel between the 10 inch spacer and uh, the suspension should be fine and I think I can use two hands. I'm gonna try to use my shoulder to keep it pressured in there and see if this will get to work. Oh, is that it? Let's see. There's such a big breaker bar. It's a difficult to get torque. Wrench, I guess. Let's try a much shorter wrench, see if this is broken free. Or I might need it still a little bit more torque. My torque wrench is 20 inches and has a ratchet. I know you don't supposed to mess with your torque wrench as far as going too much, but I think I've cracked it. Let's see if I can. Yep, yeah. oh, there we go. And then the ratchet's nice. Yeah, I didn't really have to put too much torque. Not ratcheted, but there we go. And there is the gear oil dripping out of the the fill plug, and it just it's very slow drip, which means it is filled up perfectly. And look how clear that is. That's I was gonna touch it, but it's like, well, there's no reason to touch this draining the oil pan just fine. Since the oil looks so clean coming out, and I'm already planning to do some suspension work on this, which I most likely will have to drain the front differential oil, um, I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I almost never drive in four wheel drive, and I think I'm gonna do the, the front suspension work before I actually use four wheel drive. So it's like, well, let's just save some time. This is thread sealant. There was no oil leaking whatsoever. Might as well put it back in nicely. Make sure I'm not torquing this right away. I'm gonna first start by trying to just put this in all the way with a quarter turn, because evidently it'll just keep on going in and in. So. This is pretty easy. The resistance I'm feeling could be just the thread locker. Okay, there we go. Now I have resistance. So, let's see if I can just go a little bit. There we go. A little bit in there. Perfect. Nice and tight. Using non chlorinated brake and parts cleaner just to clean this up. There we go. 